Hello and welcome to P2 Soccer Training. Today we're going to be looking at a session designed for advanced level players and we're going to be working on defending counter attacks. In our warm up in a 24 yard by 24 yard grid divided into 4 quarters, we're going to be working in threes and players are going to be passing between themselves in the grids. Each player will be numbered 1 to 3 and the players will pass a move until the coach shouts a number and then it will be defending in a 2v1 situation. The objective is for the team of 2 to play passes around the defender while the defender is trying to win the ball back. You can then progress this by having defenders cross into the next grid. To make it easier you can decrease the size of the area and to make it harder you can increase the size of the area. The coaching point for this will be trying to make the play predictable and for a defender this is very important. You can look into this on the session plan and you should familiarise yourself with this. In the second part of our session which is the technical element we're going to be working in a 36 by 24 yard grid with one large goal at one end and two small goals at the other end. Three attackers will be attacking towards the big goal and two defenders trying to gain possession and aim towards the smaller goals. The defenders start with the ball and serve to the attackers and then the game starts and it is open play. Once the game has started you may need to manipulate your numbers a little bit and do a 3v3, 4v2 or whatever works for your team. You can also allow an extra defender to enter the game and the condition on this is they can only enter if the defenders can delay for 10 seconds. The coaching points for this are approach and second defender and the coaching points should be read on the session plan. And finally to make this easy you can make the grids bigger and to make it harder you can make it a 3v1. In the third part of our session which is the tactical element you're going to be in the 36 by 24 yard grid and you're going to divide it into three rectangles measuring approximately 12 by 24. You're going to divide your players into three teams and assign a rectangle for each team that they must stay inside. The players in the middle rectangle are defenders and they will begin with the ball. They will play the ball to the outside players and they will try and connect five passes. One member of the middle team will try and win the ball back and if they win the ball they will then switch places with that team. If the other team gets five passes then they will play it across to the other side and another player from the middle will try and get the ball. You can progress this game and allow those defenders in the middle to try and block the through pass. The coaching points for this are spatial awareness and a secondary coaching point also on spatial awareness. Again you should look at the session plan for this. If you want to make it easier ask for more passes from the attackers. And if you want to make it harder, make the area bigger. The last part of our session is a small sided scrimmage. We suggest playing 5v5 to keep all the players engaged and no goalkeepers because we should be using small goals to encourage accuracy. In order to create plenty of coaching moments, you should set formations, assign positions and make sure that the players are understanding their roles fully. You should also allow your players to scrimmage without any conditions to allow them to enjoy the game. There is a coaching summary on the session plan that you should familiarise yourself with and for more sessions like this and for the session plan to go with this visit p2.soccer.